what's happening guys welcome back finally to another episode of days gone now look guys i've been procrastinating i have taken a series i should have completed months ago and dragged it out for this long so you know what no more jokes no more lollygagging around why does that sound like something an old guy would say no more lollygagging around I'm not 90 years old. Either way though, no more taking it slow and making stupid jokes and having fun along the way. It's time to finish this game once and for all. And uh, let me just do something real quick, hold up. Oh, there we go. I just had to adjust my headphones because they were so loud. Also, it is 100 degrees in my house and I am sweating profusely. So if I do one of these with a damp cloth, please excuse me. So. We currently have a mission over here to talk to the colonel, or rather, listen to his speech mm -hmm, by the gallows. Oh boy, there's nothing more exciting than getting a vigorous speech from your colonel near the gallows. Which means if I mess up or do something wrong, he's probably going to hang me. Which is not fun. It is so hot in my room right now, you guys have no idea. <laughs> Never move to Florida. Don't do it. If the crackheads don't kill you, the heat will. Many of you have been with me from the beginning. Listened to me when I warned about the coming of God's plague. Journeyed with me to this place. Helped me to build this ark. Mm, whether ark. Whether you were with us from the beginning. Or joined our ranks only today. You are now part of this great endeavor. You are now part of our mission to save mankind. I want to remind you, as you go forth beyond these walls to perform your duties, that we are still searching for material worthy of safekeeping within the Ark. We seek textbooks, manuals, encyclopedia, discs, and other media. Porn? Lieutenant Weaver has listed several books on chemistry right. that yeah. we have. Yeah. Lieutenant yeah. Whitaker has listed books on biochemistry, genetics, and biology that we are lacking. Captain Jimenez has listed books on medicine, anatomy, and surgical procedures that we need. Sergeant Tomlinson has listed books on highway construction, mechanical engineering. And Captain Hawkins is always looking for material related to agriculture and hydroponics. So, while you're out doing runs, keep an eye out for items like these. Do your part to help us fill the Ark. Company dismissed. Mm-hmm, aye, aye, Colonel, sir. Right, of course, he's worried about things like books on agriculture and architecture and bridge building. When you should worry about hygiene, where's the soap bed? Where's the indoor bathroom? I'm starting to think this uh, noose isn't actually for hanging people as much as it is for the colonel, the old guy himself, to get off. Erotic asphyxiation. Apparently getting choked makes some guys get a boner. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Right, no stupid jokes, got it. Okay, so the colonel wants us to go out on a mission and find what exactly? Books? Who cares about books? What about the pornography? We need to save the porn. Uh, obtain Weaver's polystyrene the hell is polystyrene oh wait no i think it's uh styrofoam right styrofoam is the brand name of polystyrene i think right i have no idea okay obtain weaver's polystyrene right of course yes but don't worry old crusty colonel i'll go out and get your polystyrene and then maybe along the way i'll get some soap and uh maybe a bathtub you know a deodorant not axe body spray that's, uh, no. That's the type of stuff kids use in middle school. I'm not even kidding you, when I was in high school. Are you okay? Oh, here comes a motorcycle at five miles an hour. Whoosh! Let me just body dive into the ground. Incredible. The people in this base are so stupid. Um, but no, in high school, everybody used the Axe body spray. <laughs> They would go into the bathroom. These are the guys, by the way, obviously. They would go into the bathroom and just spray their whole body down. It was not good. The bathroom smelled terrible. And then you also had those kids that would smoke cigarettes. So I think that's probably why they were using Axe body spray to mask 
the smell of cigarettes, but I mean, that doesn't work. I know what cigarettes smell like. Either way, though, I'm going to not cut yet because I think, well, my editor's not going to cut for me because I think once I leave the base, there's probably going to be some additional dialogue that only loads when you leave the base for some reason. <laughs> Anything? Come on, you bitch. Who are you calling a bitch? All right, well, apparently there's no dialogue, so I am going to... Ah, oh, there you are, bitch! I'm going to ride... John Whitaker, I, uh... Oh. Never mind. Uh, Corporal St. John, yes. Matt, the Colonel is here. I was just telling him how helpful you've been. Corporal St. John? Yes, Lieutenant Whitaker has been singing your praises. He's doing my job, Colonel. Uh, sir... I'm glad. Lieutenant Whitaker's work is well behind schedule, perhaps with your help. Matt, I told you. Look, biology, the work that I'm doing, is far more complicated than just building a bomb. Weaver is... Lieutenant Weaver is ahead of schedule. If you don't make similar progress, I'm going to have to pull resources from you and give them to him. Is that clear, Lieutenant? Well, yes, damn! Yes, sir, Colonel. Carry on. Uh, is everything okay? It sounds a lot like... Sorry, I have to go. <laughs> Good. Oh, no! Man, I feel so bad for Deacon. All that hard work trying to find his wife, and then now we found her, and she's in cahoots with this base. This is Colonel Garrett. Militia. Report. We, yes, we, we were just talking. Corporal, yes. This is of the utmost urgency. What a soldier, an officer, has gone evil. No! Officer. I wonder why. A traitor of the worst kind. He murdered two enlisted men and stole a bike from the motor pool. He's been spotted on the South Rim Drive. The stolen bike has a blue tank. Find him, Corporal. Yes, sir. I'll, I'll chase him down. Corporal, bring him back. Alive. Wh alive? alive? We're going to hang. Ah! <laughs> An example for anyone who thinks they are above militia regulations, who thinks they are above the laws of God. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Dismiss, Corporal. Above the laws of God. Okay, well, it looks like we are going to witness an execution. Yeah, yeah. Um, Kill each other. <laughs> you know what? It, what amazes me is that no matter where I go, I always end up being a bounty hunter. It's hilarious. What part about me looks like I am ready to be a bounty hunter? I mean, I am, but still, I, I don't understand how everyone else assumes it. Finally. Oh, there we go. Lovely. Hey! I'm the only other human out here, dingus! Hey! Okay, apparently you guys hate everyone, huh? Bitch! You too! I was here to help! I, I didn't even think we were enemies, but okay, fine. Shoot the only sane human here. Yeah, it's fine. No, 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 it's cool, man. I get it. You want to kill zombies and rational human beings that aren't turned yet. Got it. Cool. It's fine. Now you're all dead. See? Huh? If you had tried to be nice to me, I... What's that? I shot the guy first. Oh. Hmm. I did take the first blood. Well, that, that, that was a mistake. Again, being a bounty hunter is, uh... It, it's tough. It's changed my brain. All I can think about is killing and murder! Speaking of which, I would... I would love to go back to the base and kill a few people. I have a feeling the Colonel is one of those psychos that thinks um, he's been endowed by God, I've said this before, with some special mission to bring order to the world after the apocalypse. He's basically a rational but semi-unrational version of, um, God, what was his name again? The guy that led the, uh, it's been so long since I've played this game, clearly. Uh, Marcus? No. You know, the ball headed guys that were doing all the PCP. Uh, what was his name? There's no way I've forgotten. Carlos. Carlos. Of course. He's like Carlos. Only he reads the Bible. What, what the? Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, listen. Why is nature out to kill? And a zombie? Seriously? Nature, can you screw off? Oh, it's a kid. Oh, fantastic. Please, demonetize me, YouTube. Another bounty. Right in the kneecap. <laughs> oh, I love shooting kids. In this game, because they die in one bullet to the knee. Obviously. I would never want to hurt a child. No. 
course not. Okay, we are almost there, I think. Oh, let me heal. There we go. I am so out of it. I haven't played this game in so long, I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, Jesus, something went down. Wonder if the poor bastards had anything. Oh, damn it, I hate when I cut the dialogue off. Can you not? Um, you know what? I would love to stay in loot. Whoa! No, you don't. But, uh, let's just go ahead and ride to the objective. This is what I do a lot of. Just, uh, doing everything besides the main storyline. I'm sorry, guys, hold up. Let, let's just go ahead, right up here, and find the polystyrene, which I believe is styrofoam. And I have no idea why I know what polystyrene is. Um, actually, no, I do. I, at one point, I used to be into cosplaying stuff, and I wanted to build, like, guns from Call of Duty. And I made the DSR-50 from Black Ops 2 out of styrofoam. It was actually pretty good. And this is back when I had IRL friends and I posted it on Facebook and everybody's like, whoa, what the hell, what, what the hell is that? Are you a nerd? And then I got bullied more. Be here somewhere. Okay, oh God, no. Please don't say it's those psycho birds. Please don't be psycho birds. No, I just gotta find Weaver's shit. Oh, it is. Polystyrene. So it's styrofoam. Fantastic! I can't believe I knew that. No, you don't. <laughs> I have experience. Gotta be getting close. Okay, we have to watch out for these birds. There we go. I think we need seven, right? Yes. Can you screw off? Why does all of nature want me dead? Don't make me break out my shotgun. I've never been skeet shooting, but I think I would be pretty goddamn good at it. All right, let's grab that. Fantastic. Yeah, almost enough. And that, just beautiful. More. It's kind of weird there's random styrofoam cups just lying around out in nature. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know, there's randomly gun parts lying around. <laughs> Not gun parts, but parts I can use to... What was I even going to say? Scrap metal. There we go. There's scrap metal. There's ammo boxes. Oh, yeah, and styrofoam cups. Because why not? More cups. And the final one. Fantastic. Okay, let's get the hell away from these psycho birds. Hey, lady! <laughs> oh, God, here comes a bike! Let me just dodge out of the way! I'm not even going that fast! Come on, now! Uh, oh, that would be a pile of logs. Uh, oh my God, this is disgusting. It's like a hobo camp. It's like a homeless camp in California. Good God! Um, I have your polystyrene. I have no idea why you need styrofoam party cups unless you guys are about to get crazy, but uh, I got them nonetheless, so uh, knock knock. It's your favorite bounty hunter. Hey, I uh, got the shit you were asking for. Oh, good, good. Send it down over there. Why does this guy have hippie posters? Told you, he's about get to get wild. Okay. You making crystal meth? Good. So how are things going with Lieutenant Whitaker? How do you mean? <laughs> I see you coming and going, man. You're doing a lot of runs for her. Yeah, I'm just doing my job. <laughs> okay, man. Yeah, I tried to hit that once when I first got here. Oh, really? Is that right? Oh, yeah, dude. I mean, that lady's got a fine ass. I'm an ass man. I can't help myself. Yeah, yeah. How'd that work out for you? Well, not too good. I mean, she threw me down on the ground, tried to break my goddamn arm. Listen up. You need to watch yourself with her. That lady's intense. Oh, trust me, we know. Keep that in mind. Uh, you know anything else? Uh, no, but grab these and follow me. Mm-hmm. has got a fine ass. I mean, it's a compliment. Come on, she does. She's got all the right proportions. <laughs> so he tried to tap that and she beat his ass. Good girl. Good girl. So that means she's not being unfaithful. But why is she acting so dodgy? My man, you seriously have some problems. Are you a hippie? Have you tried DMT, LSD, shrooms? Like, what's going on here? This is some weird posters you've got. It's like, it's like they came straight from the 70s. Oh, is that moonshine? Hell yeah, brother, hook a man up. 
Got some of that crazy militia moonshine? Hydrocarbon while gasoline is made up of simple aliphatic hydrocarbons. You try saying that. Anyway, mix the two together, all those molecular chains break up into single covalent bonds. Yeah, everybody knows that. Right. Of course you knew that, Deacon. Of course you knew it. Uh, I remember hauling trash. <laughs> yes! This guy's crazy! That, my friend, is a napalm molotov. <laughs> and that is how we're gonna win this war. Once I fine-tune the formula, that shit's gonna burn hotter than an acetylene torch! Napalm! Know how that is? Yeah, I got a pretty good idea. I worked in an auto shop. Do you need anything else? Nah, man. I'm good. So goddamn close. <laughs> Kaboom! <laughs> gonna blow up and burn, son! Taking it to their asses! I like this guy! I mean, he got his ass beat by the waifu, so I'm not really worried about him trying to tap it. But still, he, he's a psycho. He's like me, a pyromaniac. Okay, uh, we have to ride down here. Bounty hunter, you got the wrong guy. Locate the thief. St. John, you stay safe, yeah? Oh, Corporal, what's happening? I was Sorry. just here. But if you want to know what's happening, how about you give me weapons, huh? Isn't that how the military works? You don't join as a private first class and they're like, well, you know, you can't actually get a gun until you've won a major war. So just go out there and die, like on D-Day or something, just rush out there and die. And then if you're good enough, we'll give you a gun eventually. Maybe, kind of, sort of. This is the worst goddamn militia camp I've ever seen. Also, take a bath. You smell disgusting. Sorry, all right. Uh, oh wait, I should probably get my bike. That would be a very good idea. Yeah, I don't I don't think I want to walk all the way there. All right, all right, all right. And the mission says you've got the wrong guy, or rather it's named you've got the wrong guy, so I'm assuming we arrest the wrong person. You arrest, about I'm not a police officer, I'm a bounty hunter. Which again, it's kind of funny that no matter where I go, I always end up being a bounty hunter, but nevertheless, I will be right back. Hurry to St. John, come in. I've got another job for you. Come to the Diamond Lake Outpost. Um. Copy that, Captain. St. John out. How about giving me an incentive to do so? I've been running missions for you guys, and I have yet to get anything out of it. I haven't been able to tap my wife, okay? Well, first of all, they don't even know she's my wife. I haven't been able to get a new gun, nothing. And you forced me to spend my own credits on ammunition? That should be a given. I, oh yeah, I'm doing all this hard work. Here's some supplies to do it, but no. I mean, at this point, why not just go into business for myself? What's the point in being part of a militia when I have to do all the stuff myself and pay for it? It's ridiculous, man. I'll just go to post-apocalyptic eBay and then buy guns and have my own camp. And then I can make up all the rules. Okay, uh, what are we doing again? Oh yeah, we're trying to find the guy that has a bike with a blue gas tank. Because this is it. Apparently, oh damn, you got nasty. See, there's that bodybuilder. Bodybuilder zombie. Oh, here we go. <sighs> Need functioning bike nearby. Oh my god, are you kidding me? This game can be so annoying. So annoying. Um, okay, let me just go back and grab my bike. Because apparently, uh, duh, you need your bike to go there. Fantastic. Oh, I could have just drove there. Guys, please ignore me. I, uh, I'm pathetic. Apparently, after years of gaming, I don't know how to actually play games. Okay, here we go. And... Oh, okay, I was about to say. <laughs> if that glitch popped up, I was gonna be very upset. Colonel, I've spotted him. It's him, right? Remember, Corporal, I want him alive. Yeah, 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 you got it. I'll get him. Say Fuck me! All right. <laughs> Damn it! No! I should have parked my bike the other way. God damn it. Let him get away, Deke. It's okay, I've got nitrous. Yeah, I bet your bike doesn't have nitrous, big guy. Woo hoo hoo hoo! Installed that one myself. You better believe no one was paying for that. Come here, buddy, buddy boy. Let me tap that ass with the long arm of the law. Oh, that's the sign. Okay. Oh, he's gonna make the jump. 
You're crazy, man! You're freaking crazy! Go ahead and heal up. What it, Deacon, what's wrong with your bike? Why am I so slow? Can you not? Hey, buddy! All right, that does it, I'm pissed. Come here, come here. Hit the nitrous, catch up to this guy, and then blow his brains out. Or the reasonable facsimile thereof, because I know you don't have brains. Come on, Deacon, he's right there. Shoot him. There we go. Shoot the Come on. Bike, Come on. I'm shooting the bike. Oh, you thought you can veer off to the side and avoid death? Death is inevitable, my friend. You're going to be hung by the noose of sexual pleasure. I, I don't know. That's just what I'm going to call it. It's an erotic noose. Yes. There we go, baby. Nice bike. Kaboom! Psych, your bike's gone. It blew up. Oh. Look at that. You're already getting some experience being choked before the gallows. What did you do, you son of a, a bitch? You okay? No. No. Having a lot of trouble speaking. Okay, what the hell? Going AWOL is one thing, but you didn't have to murder two men to do it. Let go, please. Just let me go. Nah. I'll tell you where I, I stashed it. I swear. Stashed what? Sorry, pal. I told it to the colonel. You got the wrong guy. Well, I guess we actually didn't get the wrong guy. Colonel, bounty please. hunter. I've got him alive. So Transmitting coordinates now. Corporal, good. I'm sending a patrol now. Report oh. back to me. Garrett out. <laughs> Oh, stop whimpering. Can you not? These guys always think they're so tough and so badass killing with recklessness. And then when they get in trouble, they're like, oh, no, please don't kill me. I'll do sexual favors for you. That's not what he said, but still, you're pathetic. You're pathetic and you're going to be hung tonight. Sure. Mm -hmm. It's going to be fun. Everybody's going to be there. It's like the old days, the early development of America, where the only fun you can have is watching somebody else die because, I mean, obviously, back in the day before good medication, you get a single scrape and it's game over. Oh, honey, listen, I'm gonna leave today and go to the uh, town that's 700 miles away in the wilderness and I'll probably die, so goodbye. And uh, I also dug some graves for the kids in case they don't make it either. I stole that from Family Guy. Either way though, <laughs> Point is, life back then must have been pretty harsh. And I imagine life in a zombie apocalypse would be just as harsh. So, I mean, obviously, the only way to have fun is watch people die, right? <laughs> Thank God I live in the modern day world where there's technology and the internet. Life would suck. Life would suck so many balls if I happened to live in any other time period. Could you even imagine? I mean, first of all, I would be screwed because I am incapable of doing anything besides YouTube. So, uh,. Yeah, imagine. How could you have fun besides, like, I don't know. What did people do for fun before the internet? And before stuff? I don't know. What am I talking about? Think about it. Let's say you're living... Oh, God. Oh, God! Oh, God! Deacon, you're so slow, man. Come on! Get the agility up and the speed. Woo! No! Really? Okay. Right, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. I didn't mean to do that, but that's cool. Fine. Okay. Imagine if you lived in like the 17th century. I mean, what could you have possibly done? Another wolf. This is insane. Are you the wolves that raised Mowgli from the Jungle Book? Huh? Because I just killed you. And now Mowgli's going to be an orphan that's raised by bears. And he's going to get a, a taste for human flesh. Because bears eat humans, right? I don't know. Like, what would you do for fun? This is 17th century. You probably would die very early, so the oldest you would ever be is 30 years old, maybe, if you're lucky. You'd probably get married at 12 years old, right when your hormones peak, because, I mean, obviously, sexual desire, nothing to keep you safe, equals getting married at 12 and having a baby by 14. So, that was something to look forward to. Son, you're 12 years old, it's time to have a bunch of kids and be married and then die at 30, and that's like a good long life. And if you wanna have fun, I don't know, go ride a horse, I guess. 
What am I talking about? I'm sorry, I'll shut up. Okay, we are almost there. I better get to see the hanging. If I'm the bounty hunter that brought that guy down and I don't even get the pleasure of seeing his bald ass hang, I'm gonna be kind of upset. Oh, I hear gunshots. What's that all about? When will I learn how to ride a bike? Good Lord. Oh my God, the slow driving is so annoying. This is a big base days gone. Can you not? Oh, well, okay, that might be the wrong way to go, Beastie. Yeah, you know, you're probably right, audience. Thank you. All right. Bounty Hunter has completed his job. Can I, now, can I please have a new gun? I'm begging you. Sarah. Yeah, just um, put it on the counter, will you? Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. It's, this is just really frustrating for me sometimes. I wouldn't know. Uh, I, I just need another requisition form. No, you know what, I'm, I, I'm not gonna give this one to you. Why, why not? Cause I'm gonna go with you this time. Let's go. Really? <laughs> Maybe she's finally coming around. You know, I heard how you well, broke that guy's butt. See if you can keep up with me. Yeah, right. When's the last time you went on a run? I mean, you know, out in the shit. Hey, I've done supply runs like anyone else. I gotta admit, it's been a while. Mm-hmm. Damn, you look good in camo. That is a... You have a bike? Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, but uh, <clears throat> I think I'm gonna ride with you on this run. No chance of us getting separated that way. Mm. Yes, ma'am. So mm. Hey, you, uh, you been inside the Ark yet? Uh, the cave's here, yeah. I got the grand tour when I arrived. From the Colonel himself. Come on, even you gotta give the man some credit. For the vision, it's stockpiling, preparing, saving what we can. Yeah, well, I'll give him this. This island is a goddamn fortress. Nothing's gonna get in here without a hell of a fight. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, I guess that is kind of good, but I don't trust the colonel. He's psycho. Oh, nice place. It's got that woman's touch. <laughs> right. Looks like a Hardly dump. Hardly ever here. And most nights, I usually spend it on a cot in the lab. Look at this. This will get the job done. It was a gift from Matt when I first joined up. Matt? The colonel. Oh, Jesus, come on, Deacon. It's just a gun. That's one way to win a woman's heart. Hey, honey, I've got you a new gun. Oh my God. <laughs> Come on, let's go this way. I want to show you something. Following you. When I got here, the militia had cut down almost every tree on the island. I asked Matt, the Colonel, to save the last one. Oh yeah, well, why did you uh, do that? Do you remember the weekend we rode up here? To Crater Lake, I mean, after we got married. Uh, yeah, I, I, I remember. I remember thinking, God, when Mount Mazama blew up, and how long did it take for the lava to cool and the soil to form, all these trees to grow? When all this is over, when we leave this fucking island, I want there to be at least one tree left. Uh, listen, these guys don't give a shit about any of that. I've, I've been through their dead zone. Look, the Colonel's focused on winning the war. The sooner I do my part, Sooner he'll stop burning everything to the ground. I'm not so sure about that. You know, I've got quite the presence. Why, why don't I just take over the entire valley? I really don't understand it. I mean, we have Copeland's camp. We kill Copeland, we take his camp. The old lady, whatever her name is, what, I can't remember. Uh, the old crusty grandma with the smoker's voice. What was her name? I, it's been so long since I've played this game. Point is, take over all the camps. Now I own the whole area. <clears throat> What's wrong? No, nothing. It's just. Oh, you want to switch? <sighs> Never mind. No, no, Deacon, switch places. <clears throat> then you can hold on to her boobs. I... Hold <clears throat> on. Uh... Hold on tight. I remember. The Colonel is going to be pissed about this. Calling it now. 
He's probably got plans to, uh, college east of here. settle Off down at some point and repopulate the, the world. One? Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's take the south bridge. It'll be faster. I'm with you. <laughs> here comes a bike! Hey, so I ah! ask, uh, all this stuff, the, the yeast, the silicon... Why do I need it? The weapon I'm working on is a beer side. If I can isolate the virus that causes the cells to mutate, I can kill it. Okay. <laughs> it never gets old. <laughs> hey, buddy! Yeah, that's right! Do a roll! Do a barrel roll! I can't say that. Barrel roll. That's a, that's a hard thing to say. If you're pathetic like me. Oh my god, this is going to kill me! I love this game to pieces, but having to walk and drive yeah, slowly is. Oh. After that night in farewell, what happened? I mean, how did you get out? Well, we almost didn't. After the feds pulled out, anyone still alive started putting up roadblocks of their own, and they started shooting people on sight. We somehow made it to that refugee camp where we were. We thought that you were going to be waiting, but. Like I said, it was gone. So we tried a few others, same story. No survivors, everything overrun. So within a week, the whole damn valley was a war zone. People were killing each other over scraps of food, sometimes killing each other for no reason at all. If Boozer and I hadn't stuck together, I don't think we would have made it. Wait, Boozer? He's alive? Where is he? What happened to him? Yes, he's alive, but he's... He's at a camp up north. He can't ride anymore because because he lost his arm. But uh, but he is alive. I'm so glad he's alive. I, I'm really sorry. I, I should have asked you about him sooner. Don't worry about it. Okay, uh, my turn. Look, this is gonna sound stupid, but um, but that night in farewell, my mongrel's ring. Do you still have it? Deacon, I'm sorry. It's the colonel's policy. They they confiscate all jewelry when you come into the camp. They melt down the gold and silver to use in Weaver's project or whatever the hell. I forgot all about it. I'm I'm really sorry. Uh, no, don't worry about it. I don't know. I was just thinking out loud. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter? What do you mean it doesn't matter? That's a huge significant thing. You know what it is? I have a feeling she was so devastated when... Here, I think this is it. A year or so had passed, she probably assumed he was dead. Maybe she's like built up a barrier around her emotions. That way she doesn't, you know, get hurt in the future. Or uh, what am I trying to say? Basically, she admitted to herself that he was dead and she didn't want to get hurt. So she turned tough and mad and, you know, just thought about killing the virus, which is what she's working on now. Whereas Deacon was doing the opposite. He didn't want to forget about her. He assumed she was still alive and he's been going through hell to find her. So that's why she's sort of standoffish. Her brain psychologically has tried to build up a barrier to stop her from being hurt. So maybe that's why she's not really accepting of the fact that we're here. She doesn't want to be hurt again. Could that be it? I mean, I'm not a psychologist, so I would know. Psychologist, is that the right word? Psychiatrist? Whatever, you get the idea. She doesn't want to be hurt again, and that's why she's kind of standoffish. Maybe. You've been here before? Once, before, you know, career day. They invited me to give a presentation on exciting careers in biochemistry. Woohoo! What? Nothing, just looking back, it should have been a talk on how to survive the end of the world. Come on. It's exactly what it is. Two different stories. How are we gonna get through this? Should we find a way around? No, uh, hold on. I can boost you up there. Yeah, that has to be it. Deacon has been trying to find her. He never wanted to admit she's dead, whereas she assumed he was dead and she's moved on. That's why she's acting like this. I think. You ready? At least I yeah. hope so. I mean, uh, you got it. it's your husband, so don't you want to make up for lost time? Here, watch your head. Got it. Damn, girl, you strong? Oh, shit. How convenient that is. The box was just sitting there like that. 
Jesus, what the hell happened here? This is one of the earliest survivor camps, set up before they figured out that hordes like to run along the main highways. It was dead long before I got here. This entire place is gonna be crawling. Yeah. Do you know Juicy where we're going? materials. Mm. Like I said, I've only been here once, but I think the science building is back there. Science building sounds very boring. I'm only joking. Science is beyond fascinating. I just don't have the brain for it. I'll uh, I'll watch something like a documentary or read about yeah, something. Yeah, I'm coming. And then my brain's like, wait a minute, wh what did you just hear? What did you just read? Nah, fam, you forgot about that. Yeah, yeah what? I, I don't remember. Which is just so cruel. My dad is the complete opposite, though. He remembers everything he's ever read. Me? Yeah. Nope. Be right there. All right, all right. Listen, calm down. I'm just trying to find resources. Since the stupid militia camp won't give me anything. Okay. I think we are good to go. My God! Holy shit, Sarah! You've been working out! My God! You see her? She's like an Olympic sprinter! Whew. Usain Bolt! Ah, damn it, boots. Wait, 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 wait a second. What's wrong? Well, I mean, I don't want to bring the whole place down in this. We don't even know what's in there. Well, we know what's in there, but you goddamn noobs. Now, come on, let's just go around. Oh, see, you haven't been hanging with me. You don't understand the protocol. My protocol is kill everything unless it speaks English. No, whoever was living here jammed the place up pretty good. How about through here? The door's locked, but it doesn't look barricaded. Can you jimmy it? Here, let me try. Can I jimmy it? <laughs> is my name Deacon or not? I mean, if I can, I'll just shotgun the door open. Get this. There. Got it. Through here. Looks clear. Coming. Shut up. I wasn't scared of a mannequin. Damn! Listen, Sarah, this mannequin's been beating you over here on those boobies. Look at that. Take your shirt off. Let's compare. No, no, sorry. All right. Listen, mannequin. I got I gotta talk to you. You got you got some big boobies, you know? I'm not gonna lie. Ah! Kinda hoping I could knock her head off. Mm. Nope, never mind. Any supplies over here? Here, uh, help me move this. Hold on, okay. Well, there we go. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. I already oh, see a massive zombie outside. Oh, fuck. Or zombies. All right, well, why don't we find another way? No, wait a second, wait a second. We can do this. We can do this. Uh, if we both go out there, we're just gonna pull them down on top of each other, so... Wait a second, what if... You come up on top of here. You lay down covering fire. <laughs> you take out the strikers, I'll take out the rest. Are you sure about this? Yeah, 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 I do this all the time. Just keep up a steady stream of fire, all right? Deacon. Once I'm through, this up to me. All right. Hell yeah, let's get it. All right, Sarah, make sure you're watching. I'm a big boy. Oh, yo, come on. It's more than cover fire. Good guy. Hey, what up, what up, uglies? Time to play a little zombie baseball. Yeah. Oh, woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. boom. Home run on your forehead. Anyone yeah. else? Come on down. That, that was it? This thing is OP. God, Jesus, that was a little too close. Aren't you thoroughly turned on? No. <laughs> we had it all the way. Gunfire's gonna bring in more. Yeah, we'll be long gone by then. Where now? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I think that the place barricaded up pretty good. See if there's a hole in any of these walls. A place where we can climb up. All right, I'll look over here. And I'll look at you. Mm-hmm. Okay, on the real though, what are we doing? Hey, over here, there's an open window. Oh, she found it. Coming. Ladies first! 
In case there's a giant zombie that'll eat my face off. You got it? Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Hold on, let me find something. Oh! Ah, uh, Sarah? Hold on. I gotta find something I can throw down. Oh, shit! Oh, Deacon! Oh, shit, shit, shit! God damn it! Uh, just find something for me to climb on! I'm on it! Maybe that was a little bit excessive. <laughs> Or maybe not, who knows? Burn, three burn. Yeah, that was a little excessive for sure. I wasted so many Molotovs just in. Is that it? Four bounties. <sighs> Shut up. For some reason, I thought 10,000 zombies were gonna come flooding out of the hole in the wall, but nope, <laughs> it was two. I've taken hordes out. That was two zombies. More or less, but you get the idea. Oh, God, <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. why are we laughing? Because you're crazy. You know, I, I remember you were always trying to talk me into going back to school. Oh, yeah, well. And now you finally got your way. <laughs> well, better late than never. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks. You ready? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Damn, if you think about it, she's actually changed a lot. She I went from working here, in research to using guns. Yes, ma'am, whatever you say. It's like a bomb went off in here. Yeah, maybe one did. Come on, I think we can get through here. One momento, just trying to uh, find supplies. Again, because the militia camp is pathetic and stupid. The door's jammed. Here, here, here. No, I got this, I got it. Oh, you're gonna shoot it? Oh, never mind. See, I told you. Oh, oh ah, that, yeah, that's right, die! Like I said, I got this. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Thanks. I have a feeling she's been on quite a few number of missions. All right, we're almost there. Look, we're not giving up now. I'm just asking. You seem really comfortable out in the shed. Now we know how the freaks were getting in. Someone needed to learn how to park. It looks clear. Oh my god, she is so fast! Oh, more barricades, and they're everywhere. Huh, uh, check the buildings. I don't want that. M this melee weapon I have is so deadly! I think last episode I even took out one of those giant ripper- No, not rippers, what's- what was it called again? I still can't remember, the giant Hulk monsters. The, uh, zombies on steroids. I beat one of them to death, I believe, with my giant baseball bat of death. Why am I walking so slowly? Oh my god! This is the one part about the game that I can't stand! Okay. I can Following you? Building. It's over there. Just gotta get through these barriers. It looks so peaceful. Hey! Another open window. Got it. How deceptive. You would never think there's a thousand zombies out there waiting to peel my face off. Here, let me boost you up again. Uh, only this time you... Don't take so long finding something for you to climb. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Got it! That was okay. fast. Hold on. Hey, and try not to attract any more swarmers this time, alright? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see what I can do. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. Oh, wait, that's her! I thought they were outside! Get no. off of me! Oh, shit! I gotta get in here and save her. Sarah, you okay? Can I move this car? I, yes, I can! Yes! Come on, Deacon! Sarah, hold on! Let the adrenaline kick in! Move the car! Oh, my God. That's right, scream! It's like tennis. It makes you better at everything. Or weightlifting. No, no, Everyone no. seems to scream in weightlifting. Oh, Sarah? Sarah? God damn it, Sarah! Sarah! We're 100% gonna walk in this room no. and she has slaughtered all the zombies by Sarah. herself. Sarah! Where are 
are you? Is she okay? Sarah. 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 Ooh. Hey. That's not good. God. Oh my God. There's, there are so many of them. I just kept coming. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're okay. She emptied the whole clip on him. <laughs> I was going to say you're a natural, but never mind. Come on. I'm fine. Come on, we're almost there. Well then. It's a good thing she had enough ammo to kill them all, otherwise she would have just been sitting there clicking with an empty gun as thousands of zombies poured in to eat her face off. Well, well, well. So apparently she hasn't been on a lot of missions. Yeah, it looks like this place has been shut up tight from the inside. Come on, there's gotta be a way in. Sure, you're okay. Yeah, I've killed freaks before. No, I know, I know. It's but how many? Deacon, I'm fine. Let's go. Hey, listen, you didn't look fine in that corner, crouched down, just clicking the trigger of your empty gun. You you seemed a little scared and terrified. Let's check this door. Can you open it? No, it's jammed from the inside. Let's go around the building. There has to be a way in. I'm telling you, someone sealed it tight from the inside. Well, we gotta check, right? Nope. I mean, we, we have dynamite, you know? A pipe bomb? Surely that's good enough to blow a door off. Well, there we go. The one compromised door. Oh, never mind. That's not gonna work, sweetheart. Oh, God damn it! Hey, hey, it's okay. It's sure jammed like all the rest. Another way. Oh, oh, Help! How was that? Wait, sorry. Hold on, hold on for a second. Those are those are newts. They're inside. Those are newts in there, which means. Uh, hello, hello. The roof. Come on. Okay, so we have to get up on the roof. Well, that shouldn't be too hard. Luckily, I've played a video game where I've been Spider-Man, so I've got the necessary yeah, skills. We'll just have to find a way up. Find a way up. Well, I think I already see the way up. We're going to push this armored SUV, uh, which, for uh, whatever help reason, me push this. We can use it to climb up. Okay. You ready? Yeah. For whatever reason, none of the camps or bases have push. thought to repair. <laughs> Motorcycles, yes, but armored vehicles? Nah. <laughs> Why would they ever get one of those in working condition? Far enough? Yeah, yeah, hold up. Well, that was easy. You got it? Yeah. Okay, be ready. Newts can get pretty nasty when you trespass on their territory. I just really wish we didn't have to kill the little shits. What? What do you mean? You remind me of that little girl. <laughs> in farewell. The one that fucking stabbed you. She didn't know what she was doing. None of them know what they're doing. Won't stop them from killing you. I know that. <laughs> oh, there they are. All right, now listen, Sarah, don't be freaked out, but somehow I have developed the ability to manipulate time. I am not constrained by the laws of time. Watch this, see, I just slowed time down. Now I'm able to get these one taps in. Oh my God, look at that, the precision. All right, you little shit. It's time to have a little baseball bat fun, yeah. I'm gonna turn your face into Swiss cheese. That's the last of them. Well, that, that, that was easy. You enjoyed that. Hell yeah, I did, sister. No, but I mean, you gotta admit, they're pretty goddamn annoying. You're right about that. Nah, stop lying. You know that was a ton of fun. 
Here, give me your hand. Okay. <clears throat> Careful. Steady. Well, this is fun. We're getting to spend quality time with Sarah. I got this. All right. <clears throat> Nicely done, soldier. Not only are they annoying, but they smell like shit. Yeah, well, you try to living like them. See how you smell after two years. No, thanks. Where, where, where are we going? Try these doors. Uh, one of these is gonna be a lab or a lecture room. Centrifuge has to be here somewhere. Mm, it's not in here. Deacon, come on, you can move a little faster. My man, time is money, or in this case, time is credits. Because there's no money, there's just pointless credits. Oh, and the door was right there. Incredible. I'm guessing something really bad is in here. Yep. Yeah, well, I don't get it. Are they dead? Oh, uh bullet holes, no sign of it. Violence or attack. Oh. Hemlock. Him what? Jesus. What is hemlock? Over here. Is that a drug? Is that the uh, centrifuge you were looking for? Yep, this is it. Come on. Okay. Oh, wait. They've decided to, oh, they decided to die with dignity. They all took poison. They drank the Kool-Aid. Damn, that's rough. I'm still so confused as to the timeline of this game. Like, how long has it been since the apocalypse broke out? I guess I should have done a better job of hiding the bike. All right, let's do this. You sure you're ready to fight? It looks like you got a little bit of PTSD back there. <laughs> Just saying. If they put, keep your head down. Brakes. Yeah, good idea. Brakes. Brakes. So, who am I killing? I'm guessing we're just going around. Is that what we're doing? Oh, clear the area! I should learn to look at the objective. Yeah, that's right! Look at me! Yeah, look at me, dumbasses! Let the zombies tear you apart! Oh, there's a human! Must kill the human first! Thank you for that! You helped me out! Oh, well... Yeah, you can't escape the shotgun of death! Come here, big boy! Boom! Lovely! I do enjoy joining a fight midway through when I can get all the easy kills. Oh, the shotgun packs a wallop. Hey, uh, hey, Sarah? Uh, th this is your moment to shine. I, I kind of need some help. She is not experienced with the gun whatsoever. Shoot them! Sarah, please! Oh! That was a warning shot. I missed on purpose. Now you're dead. Yeah, light them up, Sarah. Light them up. Why, why are you ducking? They're, they're not going to shoot you. You know that, right? I you know what? I'm bringing the zombies to you. Light him up, sister! No, Light him up! No. Oh my god. You are terrible at this. How are you part of a militia camp and you can't even kill some zombies? Shoot him! Oh, oh. He's over! Look out! Light him up! Come on, Sarah! Help! Sarah! Please! He's going to rip the flesh from my back and then eat my booty cheeks! Like they're groceries! Help! Please! I I don't think she's going to help me. Alright, well, oh, oh, it's apparent that you can't actually do your job, Sarah. Okay. See, you've got me shaking my head. I'm that disappointed. You got it. Oh, she got the uh, centrifuge. Listen, Sarah, I, I, if I was going to give you a performance report, 
you know, back to the uh, the Colonel and say exactly how effective you were in the field, I would probably give you like a D minus or an F. You, you're really not that good with guns. Then again, I can kind of understand that because they don't give you guns at the militia camp and they definitely won't give you free ammo to practice with. So maybe that's why you, you know, you're not the best at it. I kind of understand, but still, when I'm being chased, I need you to shoot, but not just shoot, make noise, shoot to kill. Deacon, stay down. Yeah, got it. Stay down. <laughs> oh, stay down? I can slow time down. There we go. Why stay down when time goes down? I have no idea what that even meant. There we go. Beautiful. Bring it on, big boys. I've got the SMG of death. Let's move. Okay, okay. Oh! <gasps> Happy birthday to me! This? Oh, hell yes! It's the, uh, what is it called? The RPD? Yeah, oh, sort of noticed that. This is a beautiful day! <laughs> hey, Sarah. Sarah, I, I got one of those big guns. Yeah. I know the militia camp had one, but, uh, you know, I'm not about to work my ass off to get one the legitimate way, so I'll just kill someone to take it. But look, it's a big gun, yeah? You into guys with big guns? All right, I got it, let's go. Hmm? Yeah? Oh, fantastic. I wonder if there's any ammo around here I'm missing. Hmm. See, that's what I don't understand with this game. You can find weapons that are equally as good, if not superior, to things you could buy from the camp, but, uh, I mean, they're just lying on the ground, so why make the, uh, the level requirements to buy said guns so high when you can just find them. It makes absolutely no sense. Also, remind me at some point to go back and kill Schizo? I forgot about that guy. He has a beating coming. And I want to serve it. I wanted to search that guy, God damn it. Mm, that is a big gun. Look at that. There's more of them. A lot more. We're gonna have to clear them out before we can get to the bike. You got any more of those smoke grenades? Yeah. Smoke grenades? From up here, you can see the entire park. I watch where I'm going, and then you throw the grenades ahead of me. You got it? Got it. Okay, let's do this. Uh, I mean, I guess that's one way to get things done? Let's see, if it were up to me, I would just run in there and bat them to death. All right, listen, I have taken on thousands of you and even more with zombies, so you're nothing. You guys are pathetic. You're not gonna stop me from getting my mission done. Also, it's kind of funny. These guys always show up at the perfect time towards the end of a mission. Oh, that was a headshot. <laughs> yeah, toss it over there, Sarah. Make it, oh, damn. You good? Oh, she has got an arm on her. Okay, who was that? Huh? Who was that? Stay up there! Bitch! Shoot me again to see what happens. Shoot me again to see what happens. Oh, that is fantastic. Yes, Sarah, yes. More smoke grenades. Keep it up. Okay, let's pull out the big boy gun. And let's go to work. I don't think I'm actually hitting this guy. There we go. Oh! the hell is this guy? He's like an armored monster. Armor or not, I've got an armor piercing gun. Say goodbye to your face. Oh wow. You're so intimidating with your loud yelling. Incredible. There we go. Beautiful. I love aim assist, it just snaps straight onto them. <laughs> I don't even have to do any work. This game knows me all too well. Hey, come here, come here, where are you going? You guys think you could take a shot at me and just run away? I don't think so. Oh, in the nuts! You're never having children. Oh, you see me running around? Oh, that does it. Talk smack, get shot. I think that's the last of them. Okay, hold on, I'm coming at you. As soon as I loot up. Oh, this guy was so big. Look at him. Is this gun better than the one I have? No, it is not. <laughs> oh. Another armored guy. Oh, my man, what happened to your neck? Good God. 
Hit him so hard he broke his neck! Okay, that's not actually the armored guy I shot. Where was the big armored dude? You? Yeah, I think it was. He had the backpack on. Apparently in this game, armor equals a giant camping backpack. It makes a lot of sense. Camping backpacks have been known to be very bulletproof, including skillets, if you've ever played PUBG before. Don't ever try and do that in real life, you will die. Oh, this guy's gonna shoot me, I'll just hold up my skillet. Pazing, right through the heart. And one more. These guys all died a very twisty death, did you see that? They're all like, Ugh. You alright? Am I alright? Christine! Oh, I don't know. It's just that I remember the day that I met you. You fired my gun in the air to scare off those rednecks, and you're so scared you couldn't stop shaking. Yeah, well, lots changed since then. Apparently. Yeah. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. What, uh, happened to you, sir? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, you know I what it means. It. A lot's changed. Everyone we knew is gone, but it doesn't explain. Explain what, Deacon? Why everyone in the good old boys club calls me the Wizard Island Witch? Look, I don't give a shit about any of that. I... Nothing's happened to me that hasn't happened to every other fucking person on this planet. Yeah. Okay. If you say so. Hey, Deacon, wait for me. Hey, I'm right here. I'm not going anywhere. Don't leave without me! I'm, I'm right behind anywhere. you! Are you good, what? sister? Right behind you. Just trying to get supplies because your stupid militia camp doesn't provide them! Thank you so much! Okay. Mm, 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 this gun did work! Well, I mean, I guess the SMG did most of it. I'm still mad impressed with this little guy. I mean, it, it may be small, but it gets the job done. It's crazy good. Oh, and they broke the gate open for us. How fantastic. Ah, <clears throat> uh, born baby girl. You like a man with blood on his cuffs? It's quite sexy. Or blood on my sleeve, rather. I karate chop someone across the throat. <coughs> Blood went everywhere. I'm that manly. Can I say thank you? Sure. No. Okay. You know, I just wanted to let you know how much I needed this. Glad to help. You're welcome. I mean, you can't feel too bad, Deacon. You gotta think about it like this. She's been out here for, I'm assuming, years, thinking you're dead this entire time. She's probably hardened her heart. I mean, that's what I would do if I lost someone I cared about. I would, <laughs> I would basically just go into murder mode. I mean, to me, it seems like the only thing she's thinking about is trying to kill the virus, which is good. So she's probably been pouring all her energy and soul into that to try and forget about Deacon and then he just appears out of nowhere. Hey, what's up, baby? Let's pick up where we left off before the apocalypse, before you had to kill someone, before you saw everything and everyone you ever knew destroyed. So you gotta give her time, man. Come on, it's not her fault. What do you need, huh? Nope. I mean, in all honesty, it's probably been easier on Deacon. He had his friend, his best friend, Booze Man. They've been out here killing stuff having fun, going from camp to camp. And then Sarah has just been, oh, first of all, who knows where she's been this entire time, leading up to her being here in the camp. Uh, you can't be replaced, meet Doc. All right, all right, I will do that. And I will also get on my bike. Hmm, weird. I guarantee the minute I get on the bike, he's gonna dodge out of the way. Boo! Oh, all right, brave man. I respect it. Normally everyone just dodges out of the way like they're gonna be run over by the slow-moving one mile per hour bike. Ooh, spooky. I used to wait tables like this. No one cares. NPC, no one cares. 
Taylor, what's going on? Man, can you believe this shit? Fucking Captain Curry's got me on guard duty. Don't like, something's gonna happen to the dock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a tough job, but I'm sure you got it covered. All right? Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's going on with you, man? You got some, uh, some saddle sores or something? Need the dock to lube you all up? How's the ear? What? <laughs> what? I can't hear you. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, man. I'm feeling no pain, brother. Doc's got me on some oxy. Shit, it's tight. <laughs> <laughs> this guy I'm is fine. I'm fine. crazy. <sighs> oh, hey. Uh, I saw the lieutenant earlier. She was trying to get something from the dock. Yeah? Yeah, I thought you'd want to know. All right, well, thanks. See you around, Taylor. Yeah, man. Taylor's all right. A bit weird, but he's all right. Start us bien. You'll be fine. Just don't start any bar fights. <laughs> no promises, Doc. You know, me parece. It's, I was thinking it's been a while since I've been in the shit. I'm getting soft. Me estoy hablando. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, you're serious. You want to go on a run with me? I used to ride myself before the world went to hell, you know. All right, well, let's go. Corporal. Oh, Doc. It's the mustache. Going someplace? Coronel, it's been a while since I've been on a run. I was going to go oh, and go no, no, no. I don't think so. Cor Coronel? No, no I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. If anything were to happen to you, you can't be replaced. This Sir, I can look out for him. You Dismissed, Corporal. Hey, you better watch it or I'm going to shave that mustache. Matt, I've been out in this shit before. I understand. But again, if anything were to happen to you, I, I don't know what I'd do if I... I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. Hmm. Interesting. Well, well, well. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm actually kind of surprised they had him on guard duty. I would have thought after him running out like that, they probably would have put him in a hole somewhere, left him in prison for a couple of weeks. Just so he can think about how pathetic he was. By the way, what were you doing out there? That never got resolved. You were spying on someone, you got your ear cut off, but why were you out there in the first place? Oh man, I, I heard they had like a Nintendo Switch out there. I haven't played Mario Kart in a while. In a while. I, do, I might go out there and try and find it. Like seriously, what, what, what was your plan? All right guys, so I'm gonna leave it off there for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. I promise I'll finish this game. I know it's taken me forever, but that's because I'm the world's worst YouTuber. And until next time, peace out.